and welcome to Heimdall's Watch. Brought to you today by years and years of engineering and technological innovation. Are we going to play fucking D&D or what, Ryan? What are you, you stalling for? What are you afraid of, coward? The last blockbuster closed down. We just had this conversation. <laughs> Give him the blood bees. Okay, so, end of last, uh, last session, we had uh, Hana falling asleep under the stars for the first sort of actual full restful sleep in Lord only knows how long. It was beautiful. It was. A single tear. And, yeah. twink, and he sort of shoots a star. And then stab everyone who saw the tear. Now to murder the stars. <laughs> Look how bright they are up there. <gasps> Blood space demon. And Poppet, Leland, Sigrun. We're on a quest. Our band of merry heroes. Swooped in on a Pegasus. Yes. Into the sort of front courtyard of the of Odin's temple. Yes. And are searching, well... I've been directed towards the law master. We're off to see the wizard. I like obtensively to get eyes, although I'm not entirely clear on this. I like the turn of events. Like I'm going on this deep, meaningful character arc of like the belly becoming a new person while you wreck everything. Hey, 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 come on. He formed a very deep connection with Brant. Yeah, we, we, we bonded over my stealing his shit. We're trying to save Sigrun. From herself? I got some theories about that. Ooh. I got some theories. I don't. Yeah. Leland figured some shit out with his... Thinking. Yeah, with his with, with his elf half of his brain, the smart Ooh. half. Mm. I don't have one of those. <laughs> so who's going first? That's it... a good question. Who wants to go first? I do not. Okay. Right. We went oh, first okay. last time. <laughs> that was an odd pause. I <laughs> left on halfway through. We went first last time at Skoida's turn. I don't think I that's think true I, at all. I, I'm pretty sure Goida went first last time. I can't remember. I'm happy to go first, but <laughs> you guys are also knee deep in the middle of something stupid. So yeah, we are in the middle of something stupid. That's true. We should resolve Take this. Take it away. Well, you guys have landed in the courtyard, yeah. and uh, some of the attendants, I believe you were attended to by some of the... Yeah, we had a, I had a little, had a little like a trying to persuade off with one of the guards... And I rolled the one on the persuasion check and barred it in front of him, and so then he was not... Not he, very persuaded. Yeah. But he was taking us to the Lawmaster. Uh, as we're walking to the Lawmaster... Yep. What I'm, what I'm thinking is, uh, like, just sort of, like, quietly, like, under his breath, like, between Sigrun and, and Poppet, uh, Leland's going to say, so you, so you guys are probably wondering what we're doing, right? We have a quest. I mean... Yeah, but, like, more specifically than that. There's a quest. <sighs> okay. okay. Sigrid's turning to, uh, to Bob and like, I assumed you had some knowledge of what was going on here. Why? <laughs> Why would you assume that? <laughs> what are we doing, Leland? He was with you and he said he had a quest. Okay. I've been putting some thought into your, predic your predicament, Sigrid. In regards to the whole not completing your your quest to, you know, bring bring Craven to justice, and I think I have a theory about why your whole like fulfillment of your life's work hasn't really happened. Not to pry, not to not to get like above my station, but I think I know what's going on more than you do. She sort of puffs <laughs> her chest up a little bit, like, "Go ahead, little man." Craven's not dead. I know, right? I that knife already. Mmm. You did. Wasn't there like something black that came out when it got... Maybe out of the vessel it was controlling at the time, but that knife, that is... That is it. Mmm. And if that had a killed Craven, then you would have had fulfilled your purpose and returned to, I don't know, Valhalla or some shit. And that didn't happen. Just just Valhalla. It doesn't have like a... A precursor after that is of and some shit that that's not part of the name, just Valhalla. Sure, no, I'll write it down. Hey, puppet, write that down. No answer. Everyone some shit. knows Valhalla. <laughs> I know Valhalla. Okay, cool. We're we're all on the same page then. Why why are you why are you writing me about this? So anyway, what I was thinking is I could use magic to try and find where Craven is now. He is a powerful wizard. Okay. I am a powerful wizard. You keep saying. Yes. So uh, we need to steal some eyes from this temple, and then I'll be able to find where Craven is, and we can complete your quest. We cool? We cool. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying you want to steal Mistake. from the old father's temple? 
look, I don't want to steal from the All Father's Temple, but we definitely need them. And I don't think they're going to want to give them to us. So well, why would someone want to give you their eyes? Look, I'm not entirely clear on that part either. I was just figuring we'd like sort of like stumble into it as we got here. Uh, what that sounds do you, about right. What, what, do you, what do you guys think? We could ask nicely. I can be very persuasive. Out of character, I know that to be a fact. I'm picturing we're like walking down like a, a like an immense this, hallway while this, this is, is going like on. This is like a West Wing moment. Like yeah. We're walking as like, like this group just walking down corridors, turning left, then turning right, and just talking. Probably it's occasionally having to jog a little bit too. <laughs> this is like a, a quick step to catch back up again. <laughs> Leland's doing the thing like where he's turning around backwards and walking backwards in front of them to just gesticulate and then falling over something he didn't see because that's a really <laughs> dumb idea. <laughs> It's never been a good idea ever in all the time in history of the world. Yeah, but of course Leland's going to do that. <laughs> so, who, who, do, whose eyes are we asking? Okay. The well, Lawmaster's it, eyes? I mean, maybe. Nah, no, nah, that doesn't sound right. Do you need Look, those to read? I mean, probably. And Look, Sigrun it, sort of like leans down to your level because she's big, fairly tall. And she's like, you want Mimir's eyes? That's the guy. That's the guy I heard about. Oh. Like, I'm not sure so if... So we're it... not taking someone's eyes. Well, I mean, it could be a metaphor. It could very, very well be a metaphor. It wasn't entirely clear. You know how magic is. It's sort of like... Powerful. Powerful. With books and... Yeah, but like, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of allegory and like, you know, metaphor going on. Sometimes there's similes. You know, like, so I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure if... Like, I, like, like, I don't... I don't imagine it's Mimir's eyes, because there can't be that many of those around. And that was like a thing, like, in the... In I, the... I think two would, two. Be the, would be, the, be the number you're looking for. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, the math checks out, too. <laughs> I'm glad we went with a smart group. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't... You, look, you're a, you're, a, you're a Valkyrie and stuff. You wouldn't happen to have, like, a, one of Mimir's eyes on you. Do you want to check your little pouches? Well, I'm fairly certain I know where one of them is. Cool. And you're probably not getting that one. Well, all right. Well, look, we'll put that. We'll make that plan B. Unless you went and actually go talk to her directly, that could be an option. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna need some we're gonna need some nouns at some point in this in this conversation if we're gonna get anywhere. Well, the one who took the eyes. Do I need to say his name? But probably you don't think. I like like Pop doesn't know. Like just you know. Look, little guy's little guy's confused. Look at his face. You're talking about Odin, right? I'm talking about Odin. Uh, okay. So, so that... I'm fairly certain he's got one of them. Cool. All right. Uh, but he's also the sort that would put things on display. So if that's going to be anywhere, you'll be able to find it. Okay. Well, cool. So so that's 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 one plan. I mean I mean like like. There's, there's another one somewhere. Like that could be that could be a thing. Oh no doubt. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll, we'll talk to this lawmaster, I guess. See see if like I mean he might have it in his desk drawer. Who knows? We could get lucky. Or he might just know how it works, seeing things. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> this attendant that, uh, that was uh, guarding you to, in and listen to this entire conversation. Well, he's been sort of marching probably a good twenty thirty feet ahead of you just every now and then. When he goes around a corner, you, you'll sort of catch up to him. And he's waiting there. Then basically, he's, he's being quite obvious that he's quite annoyed about how slowly you guys are traveling behind him. <laughs> this guy seems how little my legs are. I'm a halfling. I'm faster than everyone in this group, but I'm a halfling. <laughs> I was about to say, you're a monk, so you, <laughs> if anything, you should be the one that's going to be like outpacing everyone else. By a, sorry, by a foot to the <laughs> Yeah, but I'm trying to think. It's yeah, hard. Thinking and walking at the same time. Oh, jeez. But he you know, ends up um, guiding you up to this uh, set of double doors at the end of one of the one of the longer hallways, and sort of pushes them both open into this large um, open sort of hall. The roof's a lot higher than most of the other uh, most of the other rooms we've been looking at so far. It's just like big, heavy, like oak beams going through the through the um, through the roof. Um, there's large uh, pillars of uh, granite. Holding up, holding up to these beams along the, along the way, and then there is just display cases and bookshelves and. Um, can I do a perception check to see if I can see an eyeball? You can do a perception check to. Yeah, sure. 
Uh, that's a 19. Is there an eyeball? Several. It pairs. There's eyes within some of the statue, statuary. Oh. There is eyes in some of the paintings. This is going to be harder than we thought. Look, I, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll know what we're looking for when we find it. I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. I was just going to mentally note all of the eyes. And the, the attendant like, uh, sort of announces it to the room. like, uh, Lord Master Hesia, we have visitors. And then sort of bows his way out of the room and then shuts the door, uh, doors behind you. And as, that's, as it currently stands, you are in a cavernous room that you've been announced to. Uh, I guess we'll cross the room towards Hesia. Who you can't, can't, don't currently see around yet, though. Oh. Is there like a central area or a desk, a table, or some chairs, cozy fireplace? There's um several sort of like reading like, nooks, like like sort of like the big sort of comfy like easy chairs sort yeah. of set up around the place. It's this place is looking like a display room, trophy room, small museum yes. sort of level. They're like this is set up to be looking around. So you, the room is yours currently. Uh. Looking around, there are there's like paintings on walls. There are you know, you know wood carving reliefs. There are uh, various sort of relics and bits and pieces in like display cases or in armory stands or you know something you know like in the glass glass cases. Is there anything like a little like bell to ring for like an attendant or anything <laughs> like that? <laughs> you can have a look. Uh... Okay. Um, near one of the the pillars, there seems to be like this um long silken uh, like a like a bell pull, like a cord or a, like a, a a ribbon coming da- coming down. Uh, Leon spots that and instantly hops over to it and just tugs on it enthusiastically. Uh, and it, it just sort of goes, "See, I got it, got it." Pull the cord. Yes. You sort of you know, go and put uh, put your hand against it, sort of pull it for the first time, and you just hear this voice from the other side, like, "Don't touch that." Ooh. This, I was just, uh, I was just admiring it. And this is a sort of older gentleman, sort of like you know, um, fairly plain robes over over the top, sort of shuffling, shuffling over to you. Like, <coughs> Don't touch the treasures. Oh, I, I, sorry, it's my face red. I thought this was just a bell for to summon, like some 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 sort of chambermaid. Well, I was gonna say some well-respected uh, person of authority, but you know. Clearly it worked. Hi, Leland Larkholm, we haven't met. And he goes to shake his hand. He sort of eyes you over and then extends a hand. He's like, Lawmaster Hesia. These are my colleagues. This is uh, Poppet Hiltoffel and... Uh, and Lady and, Sigrun, I see. Yeah, my colleague Lady Sigrun, you see. Have you brought a cat in here as well? He's very well behaved. I should hope so. His name's Snore. That's an adorable name for a cat. But do you mind not pulling on the... Uh, Leap near while you're there. That's I sure. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't guarantee you. I, I've mispronounced. I it. wouldn't. <laughs> I like. I would never pull on somebody's gleep near without their permission. That's not a thing. It's its name. Oh no! Of course. No, that's what that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Gleep near the. You take sort of like one sort of step back now, and below this sort of hanging ribbon is a little brass plaque, and looking in on that, it, it says you know the, the name of, uh, and says. The dwarves uh, created binding for Fenris. It is said to be made of six ingredients. The sound of a cat's walk, the beard of a woman, the roots of the mountain, the sinews of a bear, the breath of a fish, the spittle of a bird. Meat! That's what I checked out. Sorry, I, I, did, I did wash my hands, so, you know, you don't have to worry about that. But no, I'll, I'll keep them to myself. I'm not, I'm not worried about you making it dirty or anything like that. It's, it is... Much stronger than any damage you could possibly do to it. Glee's down to, to pop it. That's good, because I didn't actually wash my hands. <laughs> I know. What can I help you with? Well, uh, we're here with uh, the Lady Sigrun, uh, with some, some, some questions to find out some information from a well-respected uh, scholar such as yourself about, uh, well, Mimia? Mimia. He sort of raises an eyebrow, so what of him? Uh, well, uh, okay, we're... I, I mean, I'm, Lady Sigrun could tell you herself. Uh, but, you know, I'll just summarise. 
Uh, we're like we're on we're on a case where we're chasing after ne'er do wells, <laughs> and uh, just uh, like we've got a lead. You know, it's police work. You understand police work. You, a, 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 a wise person like yourself has to has to know like the ins and outs of investigations and and that kind of thing, right? Right. Well, uh, like, well, our, 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 our leads have sort of shown us that, like, we need we need to find out something about, uh, like, Odin and how he uh, got the eyes of Mimir. It's very complicated police work stuff. Tell, tell him, Sigrun. And she sort of looks over at, Le- uh, at Leland and looks over to the Lawmaster and is sort of like... Is, like, is there a story about this you could tell us? Well, the story is quite well known. Mimir was a well-renowned seer of over great distance and through the, the circles of time and Odin, well, desired that ability and resented someone else having it and, well, took off his head. That seems that seems fair. And then took one of the eyes as his own. Uh, so were there any any stories about what what happened to the other eye? Well, it's still in his head. Right, in his head. That makes sense. That's That's where it would be if he didn't take it out. You know, we're just, just, just out of curiosity, you know, just completing the story, you know, like, didn't want to, like, leave it hanging. You know where that head might be? Just, just generally, like, the, like, ballpark or something? Oh, yeah, of course. It's, oh. it's exhibit, uh, 6C. Huh. May we please see it? Oh, of course. It's just, uh, six columns down, uh, down to the left. Okay, I'm going over to it. <laughs> like, I'm looking at Sigrid being like... This is easier than I thought. Does he come? Does or is he saying? As far as I know, currently I'm going off on my own. Well, you, you, you yeah. sort of well, I'm, I'm following along. Bye. Okay. Is everyone coming? <laughs> <laughs> is Lord Master Hesker oh, coming my. for the wonder? Uh, Lord Master is actually just have, uh, standing back and having a chat with uh, Sigrun. Who's like, and oh. as you guys wander off, the two of them are sort of conversing, and um, as you as you walk away, you can sort of hear the conversation trailing off a little bit, but it's just sort of. Chat, uh, chatting the, the histories essentially like mm-hmm. Sigrun's been around for quite some time a lot longer than this lawmaster has been alive so she's seen things that he's only heard of in books she's kind of a big deal she yeah. is kind of a big deal she's our big deal but you you, you make you make your way down it's about two thirds of the way down the arm um, I'll leave that on the side for a second six there, columns uh, down uh, yeah six columns down and then to the, off to the left and then you see this this head's a little bit larger than you expected you, you'd expect human size it's actually just a little bit larger but it's also quite mummified inside it uh, it's going to Inside of the, one of the one of the eye sockets has clearly been sort of damaged and is empty. The other eye is sort of partly stitched closed, and you just see this peak of what almost looks like um, emerald. Oh no, I'm going a little too close. I'm going to war on that one now. Mm. Let's go with sapphire. 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 Oh, nice, pretty. Um, there's, a, there's this rich sort of sapphire color, like, like the um, like the eyeball is almost um, fossilized into a, into a precious stone over time. Hmm. But yeah, inside a large glass case, sitting on top of a pillow. The so, just, just, just getting a sense of scale here. Like, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm about the eyeball right now. How big would the eyeball be? Like, just like oh, base, the, the baseball head, size. The head, the head would only be like maybe, a, yeah. Considering you're thinking of it like mummified, so it shrunk down a little bit. It would would have been like a large human, maybe, maybe someone a little, a little bit larger than that. So it's okay. We're not talking like scales above. It's just what about a big dude? Cool. All right. Well, what, what what do you think? Just just grab it. No, we can't steal from the Temple of Olden. I would never have said that, by the way. Ooh, <laughs> I brought the wrong party member with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're not the drow. <laughs> Hana were here. She'd be like case and exits right now. Public calls out Lord Master. Three heads already. <laughs> Pop, it's just going to shout back to the. <laughs> We've group. been mixing up which one is Mimir's head and which one is the random guard's head. <laughs> I'll tear out armpits and fucking eyeballs if you were here. Pop is just going to yell back to the group, Lawmaster, we found it. And he's sort of, he, you hear the, sort of sh- uh, the sound of like him shuffling along and Sigrun sort of heavy footsteps in armor. He's like, there you go, I guess. Uh, mm. It's a beauty, isn't it? So, so how do you use it for seeing things? Leyland wants to learn how to see things. And he's sort of looking at you and then looking across at Leyland. Like, like, Leyland has a shocked look on his face. Like... <laughs> the, the overly sarcastic or the overacting. If he had pearls, it. he would be clutching we're, them. <laughs> we're in an investigation, and we need to see things. 
He's a powerful wizard. I'm a I'm a powerful wizard. That much is true. This whole thing, though, is uh. So you said you're a powerful wizard, but do you are you trying to say you're on the same level as your father? Oh you no, just... I'd I'd never say that. I don't have his anything really. No, I don't. I'm look. look there's not even like a. Like a funny thing I can say about that. I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a, I'm just a humble half elf who's trying to make this world a, a better place for with Heimdall's watch. With, with in the service of mighty Heimdall, you know, like like what my badge says. Known for his foresight. What was your aim coming here? This isn't really an aims kind of operation. I just, I look. I was, I was, look. I was. I was studying scrying magics, like to 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 enable uh, Lady Sigrun's quest, I might add. Uh, and the 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 I I stumbled upon some some talk of of the eyes of Mimir and their absolute necessity in these magics. So you know that I came to I came to the place, came to the source, came to the guy in the know. Hes Hestabar Hes Hesia. That's yeah. Speech impediment. You know how it is for us half elves. <laughs> that half elf tongue, half human tongue gets bit. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, <brother. laughs> okay. He's sort of eyeing you over. He straightens himself up. <sighs> Sucks in his gut. <sighs> Stands a little bit straighter. If you don't mind, Master. Leland, uh, Leland Larkham, Leland. pleasure to meet you. If you excuse me for just a few minutes, I'm going to go talk with the do a police the, check. the chaplain of the uh, of the temple and see what we can we can sort out here. We we weren't going to steal anything. I we we weren't going to steal anything. I swear to God, I wouldn't have brought a Valkyrie with me if I was going to steal something. That'd be dumb. Again, wrong party members. <laughs> Really should have brought the rogue for stealing things, <laughs> being caught stealing. <laughs> also, you didn't know this was here. I mean, yeah, no, that's a good point. <laughs> but yeah, he sort of. <laughs> so he's left us alone. He bows slightly and sort of like walks walks away, sort of backwards at first, keeping an eye on you, and then sort of turns around, goes to the main main doors, and as he's past the cigarette, he's just sort of like gives him sort of like a bit of a bit of a nod, and keeps it keeps on his way. To, through the through the double doors, closes them behind. What else is in this corridor? What else is in the? Can I well, look you around? can have a look around if you like. Yes. There are several uh, sort of relic display cases and paintings and different pieces. What, what I, ro- I rolled so cool. an, I rolled an eighteen on perception for looking around. Okay, so look, glancing around. <laughs> Sorry, I rolled just... a natural twenty. <laughs> hey, here I am. What happens when I turn on my detect magic? <laughs> I think the whole place You're lights instantly... up. <laughs> if you like, I... <laughs> if you like, I can just when... cast pyrotechnics right in your face, and we can. This just... is pu- this is putting on your night vision goggles and then sending up a flashbang. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of magic here. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Uh, we did everyone. We did it. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Looking around, Ooh, you see one oh. case which has got this sort of folded up bolt of silk. Um, you've got that other Ooh. one, um, the other one, which was the, the thing you thought was a pull cord for a for a bell that turned out to be uh, uh, Gleipnir. Um, Is it the binding of uh, You see this large iron cauldron. Uh, you see a staff that's being held. It's a wooden staff, but it's being Ooh. held by a stone statue. Um, Who's the statue of? Is there a plaque or no? No uh, plaque. Well, yeah, it looks like a sort of a idolized. Um, generic Viking deity. Of, no, of Odin. Oh, okay. So it's, you know, it's, generic it's, Viking deity. It's got, yes. the, it's got the eye patch. It's got the big beard. It's, it, but it's, 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 it's quite grey hat. Well, a lot of wizards are young and are muscular sort of and this sort of thing. But and it's got like quite more of the, uh, the a very of, generous sculpt. Yeah, it's a generous sculpting. But there's also like paintings and reliefs around of you know various bits of history cool. and elements of his life. Yeah. There's one that sort of catches your eye of of, of him uh, sort of caging and then sort of domesticating these two large ravens there are um 
there's like a painting involving um, him capturing the knowledge of runes and using them inside in, in, in within these magics. Um, there's a bunch of reliefs about uh, like major wars against various different worlds. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff to, to see around in here. What would you, uh, what would you like to do? I was just going to look. That's, I think that was look. my actual plan. Anything, um, since you've got basically a very similar number, you managed to capture most of that as well. So anything to tickle your pickle? I mean, so just wondering ways that we're not right to be up against the thing he's now suspicious about when he comes back. I mean, he knows that's what we're here for. We were pretty clear about it. So, like, that's not, like, a thing. But we didn't know it was here. Um, at each of these uh, things, there are, at the bottom of each of these, there is a little brass plate. Cool. That you've obviously wanted to go up and inspect. We'll sort of give you a bit of a... Name, a, date, a name, history. A bit, a bit of history of, of each of the items. Uh, I think Leland's going to, like, sidle up next to Sigrin and sort of, like, give her a discreet elbow and just be like... So you're just gonna just nick that eye and just scoot us on out of here? Just, just a little. You're, you're a Valkyrie. It's clearly like more, more allowed, I would think. Just, just go, just reach your, reach your glowy hand in there and just like, whoop, just, 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 just pluck it on out, and then we can be on our way and completing our quest victoriously and quaffing of mead. You're encouraging mead. Me, you're encouraging me to steal from. My creator? I mean, your creator's church. I'm not saying, like, nick it out of, like, Odin's back pocket or something. This is, this is just that guy. I don't know if you could be more in, in, in someone's back pocket on, on the material world than inside his church. Okay. Well, then, yeah. No, sure, that's, that's exactly what I say. Come on. Let's do this. I'm not here for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stealing the eye for you. Uh what did uh, Herman? What did Herman say as he was leaving before? You know, I heard him. I heard you having a little, little whisper, a little, little powwow. Was he? Did he, did he say something about me? Just. Oh yeah. What did he, What did he say? I think you already know what he said. If I knew what he said, I wouldn't have asked. Jesus. <laughs> okay, to, to dumb it down for you, he said, "Make sure that one doesn't steal the eye." It's fair. All right. I mean, yeah, all right. That's fair. <laughs> That's lawful and stupid. <laughs> cool. Well, um, oh, all right. No, that's fair. I won't steal anything. Just um, grab it and we'll get out of here. <laughs> you have to, uh, <laughs> roll some persuasion there. And you have to roll a real good. <laughs> uh, well, I've gotten to myself. What's my persuasion? Plus nine. Mm. Another 16. Is this one of the classic Ryan ones? Do we have a classic Ryan one? <laughs> Come on! How can you tell that? Because you can't read that poker face. P -p poker face. Uh, <laughs> Is persuasion a contested role? That doesn't seem like a thing that would be a contested role. I'm not mind controlling her. I know, but you're also like actively trying to convince her rather than just trying to you know, pull the wool over her eyes. I do like the technicality of Leland's not stealing shit. He's trying to get anyone else to do it. Can I see what's going on in their corner? Yeah. Hey, you're and a part of this too. Get in the huddle. And if you don't stop them, <laughs> that makes you just as bad. And I can also read lips, so I probably know what they've been saying. Oh, if that's okay, so yeah, definitely. You've yes. Heard, you've, heard this, you've basically made out this whole conversation. I'm not trying to keep it secret from Poppet. No, that's true. He's an accomplice right now. He's an accessory, uh, he's an accessory to this. Perception. Yes, please. That's a twenty-four. Ooh. You sort of start look, you look, you sort of, you're only been a, a pet owner for about what thirty-six hours at this point. It's not gone. I was just like, like <laughs> the cat just like this mouthful of jewels. <laughs> <laughs> in like on Mimi's head, like like Digging scratching the at the eye. eye. <laughs> <laughs> It's that same glint in the eye I saw from Craven. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. What a twist! Uh, you sort of see this like flash of white ducking behind one of the one of the pillars, and you just hear this sort of 
through that because it's got a, it's got a like this sort of scratching sound of like claws on, claws on on timber. Going to be sharpening his claws on Glitnia. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Snow will still be under the animal friendship, so I'd like to yell at him to come back. You just hear this scratch and then stops, paws slightly, you know, like three little steps around Snow. the thing, and just like meow. Come on, meow. Come on. Do you want your fish when we get home? And sort of like purrs slightly as it's coming around. It does a couple of laps around your around, around your leg. I pick him up. And this is like doing like sort of happy little like like their backs their backs all up and like clawing into. into I your press arm. the digitate under his claws just to clean up anything that might be under there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to you, you two. All right, actually, I think I might step over to Goda for a little bit because he's. That was that was a, that was a good tense moment to <laughs> cut away on. I loved it. Give me time to think of how the hell. Do oh I god! <laughs> right, how do I end the sight session without dying? <laughs> See, the problem is that they know we're there that we want the thing that we're trying to steal. It makes it harder. You see, it's funny, but it also makes you think. Okay. So, I'm going to have you waking up probably sort of pre-dawn. Could have done like this you... better. Sorry, go on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you didn't take No, no, your plan month. is a perfect. Um, you still got like a, a pretty decent sort of vista of the uh, of the stars stars above you. Some, some of them are stars just sort of wink out as, as a little bit of the light starts to, to fill a little bit of the corner of the sky. But you've still got a pretty good uh, good sight of most of the stars. You're, um, you're sitting there and you're trying, trying to sort of... Actually, how much knowledge will the drow have of stars and constellations? Well, I'm going to assume as drow are the most intelligent, best looking the best, I want to assume we know everything there is to know about stars, and if we don't know it, it's not worth knowing. <laughs> so, uh, that was a long-winded say- way of saying you don't know much about stars and constellations. Uh, what would I have to roll under for that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I got, actually, my, I do have, like, I guess, okay, I've got an intelligence of 18, so I'd assume I would know enough, like, okay, I don't know. Well, intelligence. I mean, you have been on the surface before. Oh, don't remind me. Uh, that is a 14. That's just straight intelligence here, nothing yeah, to yeah. it. Kind of history, acrobatics, perception. Nature. Perception. How would you have acrobatics into it? It's I'm just... That's just plus 10. Why not? Go with what you're good at. Can you talk... Can you? It's, that's mental black backflips. Yes. Black flips, that's a different thing. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a liberal party territory here. Let's, uh, you're sort of looking at it. You're like, like you've you've ha- heard of <laughs> Got him. You've heard of uh, a few of the a few of the constellations, and that, now that you're sort of actually laying out in the stars and spending that time actually looking at them, you're starting to sort of uh, you know notice a few of them. You're, you're looking at yes. At, I'm starting to really appreciate man's inhumanity to man. You've been waiting for an opportunity to say that, haven't you? Absolutely. <laughs> but you're looking through. You can you can see uh, see various different constellations. You can see one you know one that's been known as like the fisherman. You can see you're looking through. You can see uh, you know, Orion and the Orion Belt. Because I want to put my name in this. <laughs> oh, Orion. I could show you the Southern Cross. <laughs> <laughs> nope. But um, that's you're actually sort of... the only constellation I actually really know. You're um, Which you're looking through, you and then you sort of, you you find you sort of see like, Canis Major and Canis Minor. They are. Uh, Very sure are words. Yep. I'll take them all in. Yeah. yeah. And just, at one point you're sort of looking at. Where's the drow one? That's that section over there, which is like filled with like a black hole and like no light coming from it at all. It's just it is literally the epitome of darkness. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, so like the eye of Canis Major, just like. The actual star where the eye eyes represented seems brighter and more red than you thought a star should look like. But with your experience with stars, yeah, hmm. that's yeah. a bright red star. That is a bright red star. That sure is the thing that happens. Yes, it is. Over the next sort of thirty minutes, uh, forty-five minutes here, the rest of the stars start to sort of like fade out as the sun starts to actually sort of light up the. Uh, Eastern side of the. Of it's the time skyline. for me not to be on top of this tree anymore. <laughs> and you start start sort of 
climbing your way, well, climbing your way down, making your way back. Well, I assume it's making your way back to the uh, the village. Yeah, I guess so. Wherever, what's his face is, not that guy. Graylon. Yes. I'm glad I remember at least thirty percent of the characters I've created. <laughs> <laughs> I'm purposely forgetting the names. I know. That's the joke. I like that. Some of the time. (laughs) (laughs) It's one of those jokes that covers for the mistakes. Yeah. (laughs) Um, (laughs) You make your way into sort of the the village centre. There's a few... On the way way across there, I'm going to be using like um, some druid craft and occasionally like making like flowers bloom, like just randomly going... That blooms, and then we're only going to another one going, that one dies. That one blooms. <laughs> that one dies. Pretty. I like it. Crush it. It's the circle of life. Exactly. It's all in your hands. Of your <laughs> you control life and death. It's a metaphor. <gasps> or a simile. It's literally life and death. I'm scared. I want to go home. <laughs> this is your home now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Um, as, you, as you're making, making your way to the village centre, you hear the sort of sound of like a, like an owl hooting. <gasps> Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> then be back to life. Then kill it again. <laughs> I don't think it works like that. Oh. <laughs> At least you killed it. Hannah gets her sense of mortality again. <laughs> oh no. Here comes the crushing realisation of my own impending doom. <laughs> Roll for depression. It's I rolled a three. <laughs> Is that a good roll or a bad roll? If you roll I don't position? know. It's low. It's, it's low. Uh, I become a nihilist. <laughs> Sitting there with your 90s nail shirt on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you sort of make it towards the village square. There's a few sort of revelers that made it to uh, to sunrise, but for the most part, most of the villagers have, uh, have uh, made their way off to home and, and it's mostly abandoned. I have to say, for the first time after that restful, peaceful sleep, I just feel like murdering everyone that I see. See how you feel about that in about two seconds' time. I was about to say. <laughs> when Graylin wanders out. And, and it's, like... it's back. <laughs> Morning, sunshine. And Hannah. I just slit my own throat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yes, it is. So, uh, suppose you want to sort of uh, test the limits of your new, new, uh, new found abilities. Yes, I do. All right. Where do you... Okay. The wolf is obviously something you can handle. That's something you're uh, somewhat experienced with now. Practically a pro. Sure. I said practically a pro. What other creature do you sort of... I don't know. Do your people have the concept of a spirit animal? Spirit? Some sort of you know, creature that you sort of identify with the traits of. <laughs> as soon as I started doing this, I knew exactly what was going on. <laughs> I was like, no. Well, the one and only true god is all about spiders. Ah. Lol. Lol? Wait, lol. There's a lisp. <sighs> That's I'm sorry. <laughs> I can edit this out. That's the best part. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, um, I, I tend to leave my stupid in. Spiders, but I also, I guess, for me personally, small sneaky and then occasionally... Cloakers. Deadly. Yeah. Scorpion. So you're thinking spider? Yeah. Okay. I'm always thinking about spiders. It's kind of <laughs> weird. Wow, wow, wow. Four sets of handcuffs. <laughs> fluffy, fluffy handcuffs. <laughs> Sorry. That, was, that wasn't a pleasant noise I just made. <laughs> weird noises all around. <laughs> okay. We should get down to the uh, back of the grotto before it gets too light then. That would be nice. And he sort of hurries his way down the hill, sort of leading you down. There's a similar sort of pathway you're going down, uh, down towards before. Um, this time, uh, um, reaches that area where the, where the stones were, where you were chained up about a, about a month, a month and a day Wasn't ago. Wasn't that where we were before anyway? It's where you, yeah. it's down the same sort of area that you were last night, or yesterday afternoon. Um, and that, it's that spot, and then sort of veers off to the right and heads a little bit further down, and you hit this sort of rocky sort of outcrop section at the bottom of the gully uh, which opens up to a cave he sort of he takes a moment sort of runs his hands over his eyes and you sort of see this light um, come up come sort of shine from the back of the back of his eyes just a, the, the slightest hint of glow from him and he sort of he heads in you obviously can deal with the uh, the low light anyway and starts wandering inside there's no shame in needing magical assistance what the grism 
him. So there was. We're all great wizards here. He he starts uh, wondering. He's like, this place still okay. I like nature and everything. This place still creeps me out a little bit. So, if you don't mind, you mind running up front? Sure. This is beautiful and peaceful. This is more sort of your your country bumpkin ver- version of caves, rather than rustic. The uh the the, the true spectacular glory that you're is going to visit your cousin Drow's up you know up north <laughs> yeah they're trying so hard it's yeah it's all right he said you start sort of leaning on and the, the path sort of veers off to the left we'll have to imagine because right. he's like a gnome he's like 20 feet base but anyway so let's walk normal speed and just whoop um after a little while you start um the the, the sort of the scent of the room sort of changes from being like the fresh air that flows in from the mouth of the cave to a little bit more sort of Cooler, damper, and a little bit more sort of musty. This is, yeah, Cave One Hundred One for you. Um, and you sort of start feeling the the feel the, the sensation of like stickiness on the floor, and a little bit you can see see just like this the fine lines of like silk, um, sort of threads against the against the walls, and you start the cob webbing across. Basically, it looks like a a large funnel web structure, and you can hear Graylin sort of like treading lightly at the far end and you can tell that he's sort of letting you get a little bit further forward than, and he's not really trying to keep up at, the, at, at this I'll point. I'll patiently wait for him. He's like, he's like no, no, it's, it's, it's fine. No, you. I insist here, teacher. And he's sort of like trudging his way through every now and then, like brushing stuff off his shoulders. Okay, if you just like do it crap, so I'm like, you know, put some more cobwebs in the way. <laughs> he sort of stops and gives you a bit of a glare. He's like, not that. Trying to help you out. What, what are you do? doing? I'm learning. We're having fun. Let it's a fun chat. game. And at one point, he sort of puts you, you know, he stops and like stops still, and you can sort of see his eyes have sort of gotten wide. You, you know, you can see just because of, your, of your, your your dark vision, as well as like the sort of the soft illumination from the back of his eyeballs is sort of lighting up a little bit more. But he sort of stops and like reaches down with his right hand and holds it just just against the webbing on the floor, and he's like, "All right." They're, they're on their way. Do I send something coming up as well? Or? If you want to want to reach down and, and do a yeah. perception on this one. That is a 28. Uh-huh. That's how I got this tennis table, mate. Rolling too much fire. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. That's it. Shut it down. We're done. The end. No credits. And everyone died. Well done, gentlemen. <laughs> well done. We did it. Mission so accomplished. <laughs> but uh, we did the best. <laughs> yeah, you you reach down and you feel you can actually just feel a very very fine like shuddering within within the webs. Um, with that twenty eight, you get the sensation there is a good dozen or so uh, not small spiders on their way. I'll ask him how many think are coming. He's like. More than a few. About 12 or so. Uh, should be fine. No more different to a... Oh, no, a wolf's really, to be honest, at this point. <laughs> I'm new to this. It's as dangerous as a wolf with um, four more legs. And poison. You're familiar with reindeers and cattle. Yeah, sure. Forgot about the mutant cow. Yeah, mutant cow. We should learn to become a mutant cow. <gasps> My lifelong dream. And I can use animal friendship. I mean, we're going to have to explain what, what a beast is to you over and over again. I understand that. <laughs> this is just the latest incarnation. But they weren't, they weren't beasts. That wasn't a beast. That's why you... you know, whatever. Just a little <laughs> bit. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Back to the story. <clears throat> the, the, sort of the, 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 the sensation of the... Sort of the of the web movement is sort of giving way now to like you can actually hear the sound of like plucking threads and skittering as a um what kind of pluck on the uh the web back just like a little which is something you have probably done as a as a as a young child like just teasing the local local uh fauna it's actually like a moss thieves camp tasty gnomes tasty gnomes tasty gnomes in your area oh dear <laughs> and uh, you, you are, after a little while, you sort of see the first few come through. And there's, they're sort of 
average to large sort of tarantula size. So like that the sort of size of your hand starts start skittering skittering over and a few of them sort of start like crawling up the side of the side of the wall surrounding you and you just hear this little shriek from uh, Graylon behind you. And it's like it's not a lot of life right now. That was for a for a wet yourself check. No. What would I don't know how you'd identify what animal is what. Like would I know what kind of nature. Nature. Oh, it is a draw there. Now as a druid, of course my nature roll should be really, really good. But it's not. As a drow rogue. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's spider. Yeah, it doesn't look doesn't look like it's been like it's mutated or anything. It's just like a genuinely large breed around this okay. around this place. It's okay, it's probably not poisonous. Huh? It's a shrug. And Grandma's like, I'm almost, I'm almost positive they are. Well, that's why you're the judge and I'm the lawyer talking guy. <laughs> the lawyer talking guy. <laughs> you can hear sort of Grandma's sort of like nervously making like four or five steps up to the point where he's, he's sort of right behind you at this point. You should probably stop moving. You should activate the web, which will bring more into you. Or feel free to think, you know, keep moving. You do you. I just, I just need to be close enough, and and then you sort of, you sort of feel his hand sort of rest against the the, 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 the small of your back. He just goes, "Excuse me," and you sort of feel this sort of warmth of energy, like transferring from him into, in basically into, like, your your core. I'm just attempting to grant you abilities beyond your capacity. Nothing is beyond Temporary. my capacity. Temporarily, just to see if this is going to work, and you sort of just feel this warmth feeling, you know, feeling you, um, and as you're sort of like focusing on that sensation, you start to see in the in the, in the far distance of the cave ahead of you, you sort of essentially see the patriarch or matriarch. You would know. Let's go with matriarch. Of, would be matriarch. of this, uh, of this Mama's spiders are typically the biggest spiders. Yeah, and this is it's a big one. We're talking four or five feet tall more than that wide um so it's like skitters up and it's just got like a skittering between each of it each of his eight legs it's just like a little little like swarms of smaller spiders they're the same sort of like tarantula sized ones and it's, it's like creeping forwards you can see like this viscous um venom like dripping off the uh the mandible the, the, the front of its uh the front of its uh mouthpiece and it's just like all of its eyes are just sort of like fixated upon you and well you taste a little known behind and Graylon's just like a druid craft with salt and pepper <laughs> you just hear, hear like you feel this the sensation of Graylon's hand on the back is you, he is trembling focus on the big one and see if you can take on its shape but the little ones are cuter just kidding but yeah uh well Roll me a wisdom. a wisdom check. Now, I'm going to try and remember this thing I've got. This is how it works. Alright, so as I'm doing that, I'm going to cast guidance on myself. Yeah. Wisdom, you say. Mm-hmm. So I rolled, I rolled a 4 on my d20. So I also rolled a 4 on my d4. That means yes. that means you get to roll again, like in Monopoly. Yes. Got two more times, you go to jail. Oh no. <laughs> or in this case, a spider's stomach. So that's 10. 10 total? You start like your whole form sort of like just like droops down towards the ground. Your your arms like flail out to the side of you. your legs sort of like um, spread to the sides, and you almost feel like they're splitting up the middle. Or same as your arms, and then you sort of like shudder slightly, and you like snap back to drow form. Not gonna lie, that was a weird sensation. And um, Brown was like, "Close, try again." Why can't it be something good like a dex check? Right, well, ooh, that is 15, 17. That's a little better. See, now you're doing whatever a spider can. Spider this time it's, can a, swing this time it's a little where? less traumatic. It's more of a sort of smooth transition rather than like... Less cronenberg Yeah, it was getting very cronenberg wasn't it? Start the reactor, <laughs> great <Graylan. laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but yeah, you sort of—it's more of a more of a TV fantasy show version of 
like you glow slightly, then all of a sudden you're the next form. <laughs> less less of the body horror. Like a less less the fly, more anamorphs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and yet, um, if you had, if you were a fly on a wall in this situation, well, first of all, you'd be very dead with all these spiders around you. But second, second of all, you would see essentially almost a mirror image of the giant spider in front of you. Where one of them is you. <gasps> the and Graylin has spider. pulled his hand away and <laughs> backed up as fast as he can, like 30 feet back. Now it's you, as a giant spider, in front of a giant spider. Do I have to say hi in giant spider? Peace and long life. Live long and prosper. I imagine most of their, their uh, communication will be done through vibration. An interpretive dance. That is the pick up spiders. That's what they're dance with, I think. Oh. Are you... Well, you, you are not a pick up spider. No, I am not. You're probably quite on the other end of the extreme. I believe in you. If you want to be one, I think you're pretty. Sure. <laughs> I just want to be beautiful. But yeah, what. Yeah, actually, as a giant spider, you have web sense. So yeah, you can um, you know the exact location of other creatures in contact with the same web. Nice. Which is, and you sort of feel it loud. Now you can feel the sensation of. This web goes for nearly a mile further down the cave, spreads off into different places. You can feel the sensation of um, little clusters of, uh, of family broods in, in, li- in little areas. Um, you can feel the sensation of a hunting party that had, uh, that had, that had brought, brought in a, um, one of the, uh, the creatures and sort of uh, get up and about in, in the dawn that uh, they've captured and we're dragging back into the, uh, into the cave. You can feel them dragging, a, dragging something in. And you know all this just from through your eight legs that are stuck in the web within this within this structure. Well, you never skip leg day, people. As a spider, especially, yeah. As a spider, every day is leg day. So it's like, what? So can you communicate? Like, I, don't, I don't know how this, like, like, in character, I don't know what, um, like, it's not character, it's out of character, I don't know how. Do I know they're, like, do I have, like, an innate sense of, like, essentially your I still retain my own mind and, is that it? Or have I become a spider and, that seems kind of scary to like lose your like if I just become a spider I'm like cool now I guess I'll kill the prey or do something I mean I assume you can still still have control over it yeah I assume you're still you I I think retain your alignment personality and intelligence wisdom and charisma scores there we go Uh, all skills and saving throw proficiencies in addition to being those of the creature but it's like it's still you but now you're thinking with a spider brain no it's because you've still got the, your intelligence, and, but you, you have all the the brawn and stamina of the uh, of a of a spider. Uh, known fighters across the land. <laughs> so um, your dexterity, so it's dexterous as a spider. Yes. What's the dexterity of a spider? Well, a okay. giant spider is a de- is dex sixteen. So I think you actually went down. Oh, this form sucks. <laughs> the strength, I think you might have gone up though. I feel so slow. Essentially, your strength, dex, and con. Become the creature you shifted into, and your intelligence and wisdom into is, uh, okay. stay your stats. So all your dumb stats, you get to keep, and then you get to. <laughs> the system works. Me- it means that if you transform into like, say, a giant cow, you don't keep your dexterity as a giant cow, which would be weird. <laughs> the ninja cow. That'd be great. <laughs> it's like Muwa McKelf the kind of just jumps up to the building, starts <laughs> stealth. Hilarious. So your ability to speak is limited to the capabilities of your beast form. So you can speak as a spider would speak. It's technically not a language, but they communicate through the vibrations in their um in their webbing. Oh, it vibrate. Feel Hello. The vibrations. <laughs> Hello, I'm trying. You feel this sense. You get this distinct vibration back at you, and like, what the fuck? New web who dis? <laughs> New web who dis? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, me. Greetings. This is exciting. <laughs> Meeting new people. Love what you've done with the place. Kind of like a... Where go food? No. <laughs> no, no food here. Food was here. Now me here. I can sense the other spider hunting party coming, can I? Or... Yeah. More food coming. Queen confused. I'll bring chat like, pat on his head. It's okay. Bad. <laughs> oh, maybe I should play this. I, I think it's worse than yours. Oh. There's a two. 
Oh my god, it is. Awesome. It's okay. These things happen. Must trap better next time. Yes. You must. And you hear it sort of tapping away to the rest of them, like, little ones, make web better. And you do see, like, this little squadron of ones just sort of, like, skittering further up the arm, back up towards the entrance. And you hear them, you can see, sense them sort of busying themselves around the, the cave entrance, trying to basically creating more of a an enclosing door. Some sort of trap door, maybe. And you hear Grandma behind is like, ah, uh, Hannah. What are they doing? You can't so speak. They're behind him during the door, or yeah, they scooted past him and they've started like knitting, like a essentially from the outside edge. They're basically building like a frame around, essentially made of webbing. No, yeah. you can't even communicate as a spider can communicate yeah. right now. Well, that's and what I do now. It's like okay, I thought there was a little bit more around. All right, so as they start doing that, let's go like there is snack still. No, no snack. My and snack. Sort of like. You wait for your it's dinner. glancing around around the side of you and just is looking looking at Graylin and he's like, you get the sense as Graylin's made like another three steps backwards. Hold on. <coughs> Trying to a spider click. No, no, over here. <laughs> <laughs> Why is me stopping me eat? I'm from the future. If you eat that person, you and your entire colony will die. I'm sure that's I'm... the kind of higher thinking <laughs> that a spider future. is well capable of. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. I was just trying to confuse it. Like that movie that time. <laughs> time Spider. <laughs> time Spider. Hold on, I gotta write this down. Let's see. James, yeah, write this it's down. The, it's the eight hands of time. <gasps> yes. Gotta edit this out, man. I'll just go. Let's try and confuse it. Go. Don't let me worry about me. Let me worry about me. I'll just pat the head again. And I'll head off. Confusing it makes perfect sense. You just be hit that sort of plucking in the in the uh, the webs again. It's like little ones get me snack. I'll say little ones don't get snack. Behind as you start walking around this, you sort of hear this sort of hiss or sound. Spider fight. <laughs> like, me does not stop me having. That's exactly who stops me having food. You really could. <laughs> I have to stop and think about it. Yeah, so I'm like, the let snack go. Bigger food later. Trust me. Me and me eat snack now. Or me kill me. Um. <laughs> 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 the whole time talking, <laughs> which does not translate to audio at all <laughs> so I've all my abilities no you have all the abilities of giant spider giant which you can spider. add it as a add it as a like a pet compendium thing on your um I think I'll have to I've got more spider in the world to I think uh, at well it depends what level because there's a thing where you can't cast spells while you're a spider but then later you might be able you to you have your skills and your saving throw proficiency you have your intelligence, your wisdom, and your charisma. And you can dodge a spider. Okay, so my attack to dodge a spider. Yes. Well, particularly when I get into a fight over here, surrounded. Sneak attack. No deal, me. And I'll quickly doop, 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 run towards Graylin. Mm-hmm. Tell him, like, which spider is this? What's going on? And just kind of... Shoot us both! <laughs> I should have thought of that first and just doing the whole top two spiders tumbling over and grail and like <laughs> <laughs> And I'll basically pick him up and keep going. Alright. Start a running. Spider string. Yes. It's better than And uh, yeah, uh, as you as you're going through, uh, go for an athletics. Spider athletics. Uh, giant spider oh, has plus two on um on uh, on this. Only plus two. No. Seven. Wait, nine. I've already rolled seven. Okay. And you don't have, um... Proficiency as athletics, do you? I do. You do? But mine's plus five, so I don't know what's a... Uh, you do it. Is it your proficiency, though? Because you still keep your proficiency. I do? Okay, so... So it'll be plus what? Oh, sorry. Three. Seven plus two is nine. My proficiency is plus four, so thirteen. Thirteen. Complicated. Okay. I just so you managed to, like... You, like, skitter past and basically, like, pluck this 
terrified drail of form and like flop it sort of between your oh wow I gotta remember spider no I'm just gonna I'm just gonna carry him like oh like two spidery yeah. arms underneath them and they're like still skittering on six okay just dip a little bit of poison oh god <laughs> okay so for the next he's still a gnome I still have to terrify him for the next five minutes all you've got is the sound of you, and you can sense it through your, through your uh, your feet is the sound of the Spider Queen chasing after you, as well as a good portion of her minions, and the sound of Graylin screaming like the longest single scream you think possible, especially from just the smaller lung capacity of a gnome. How much air is in one creature? How much air is that? He's helping you. Yeah, that's, that's not sexy. He's helping you. At a certain point, you you reach the part where the hunting party. Is ahead of basically between you and the exit. What's your plan? Because you've got another, well, another giant spider, not quite the size of the queen, but another giant one, and there are several, like, a couple little swarms of the regular spiders, and they've got this bundle. It looks like a small, uh, like a, a make way for the queen imposter behind me. Roll persuasion on that, because I think you're going to do pretty good on that, since it still uses your base stat for those. Oh, I was going to say, I cast guards, I can't. 24. <laughs> civil war, civil war. And basically, uh, you see these ones, uh, like this giant spider to like grab this, um, they're, 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 they're catching a meal and it looks like a, um, how do you feel? Dose. That's a good idea. Fawns. 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 Um, yeah, it's basically this fawn wrapped up in a bundle of silk that basically gets dragged up to the side and this giant spider like gets out of the road and, pl- and like there's a couple little swarms of smaller ones that like skitter up to the side and let you sort of barrel your way through and all they see is like this... I have better persuasion as a spider. <laughs> How? Because my persuasion is only plus two. Here it's plus seven. Spiders are persuasive. Also, like a better performance with spider. <laughs> well, you know, well, well spiders are showmen. That's fair. Also, better history, better knowledge of religion, uh, great animal handling. If the spider has, uh, if the creature has the same proficiency as you, and the bonus in its stat block is higher than yours, use the creature's bonus instead of yours. Hmm. Magic. But I can't see how your. Char- Have you met Goida? Yeah, but your charisma is not less than four, and I don't mean plus four. I mean. Four. Don't question the stats, right? It's just what it is. I, I don't. I, I don't know. Okay. It just says. Pr- you oh. still rolled baller, so. How does anybody know how numbers work? Jesus. Well, that makes sense. My charisma's plus two, and then. It's a charisma based skill, yeah. and you haven't. Don't make sense. Got nothing to do with it. Okay. 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 <sighs> <laughs> yeah. So I won. The ball makes sense again. Okay. Um, anyway, bluff yeah, the spiders. The, 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 the <laughs> bluff the spiders, they basically like skitter out of the road and then the last thing they sort of see is you like scurrying past like really quickly. There's like screaming gnome beneath you as like as you sort of barrel out and out through the entrance of the cave. Um, into sunlight now, because you've been down there for about half an hour, 45 yeah. minutes. All said and done. Um, and in the background, you can't really hear it as much. No, at this point now, you're sort of out in the open, and your senses are pretty dumb, at the, numbed at this point. Like you don't have that sensation of of your web sense anymore, because uh, you're outside of the range of where the web is. Um, you've gone from dark cave to morning light. This is just like hell on wheels for you at the moment. Oh, life is good. Sp- you know, spiders multiple eyes and your uh, sunlight sensitivity. This is. This is this is hell times eight, and yeah, don't think they're good listeners. I don't think spiders are good listeners. I think you know the spiders are good, not good, uh, not good listeners. I will quickly climb up a tree, point them on a branch, and then roll shape back. Yep. And you sort of like, un- you you shift back <laughs> into your uh, drow form and sort of uncomfortably plop back on, uh, you know, because of the the spatial spatial difference. I have, I have web, so yes. Um, as a spell? This is the thing it can do. It's a thing it can do. Yeah. Um, and you sort of like, just because of what the you know, 
where your butt was and where your butt is now is not the, quite the, the same position you expect. You sort of land a little awkwardly on top of this branch um, and sort of like, ooh, and then like rock slightly and Graylin is just like sitting there on this branch just like, <laughs> this is Graylin moving. <laughs> Point of acrobatics. Just like, whoop. <laughs> but yeah, Graylin's basically just like rocking backwards and forwards and like, <laughs> that was fun. You almost died. <laughs> this is awful. Why? But you're not dead. Wow. You're just lucky. Sort of like you're takes, just lucky. You're still useful to me. Takes a moment. He's just like, take a breath. And he's like, <sighs> back out the sunshine. He literally chose okay. this. He led her there. Well, that was fun. It was. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> that worked better than I expected. It did. You're not dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead inside. Does that count? A little. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kicking goals today. I reckon fairly soon you'll be able to do that anyway. By yourself. Without my assistance. Wonderful. Should we do it again? To practice more? Maybe try something else. Two spiders? It doesn't work like that. Oh, I've got to try. Yeah. Would there be anything else you'd be interested in trying? Or you just want to know how to do this? I, I imagine you're... Uh, Looking forward to getting out of here now. You don't seem to be one that enjoys the outdoors. Not particularly. Not particularly at all. Although, be an interesting uh, career choice. Saying that though, allow me to tell you a secret. And if I ever find out that you tell anyone about it. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I will kill you. Love it. Hint, hint, DM. Okay. Go on. I have never been more at peace than I ever have been. I could sit next to you. And although I could kill you, I would like to kill you. I don't feel the need to kill you. I just tapped on the shoulder. That's wonderful. I don't know what this means. I was like, and you, just, he's just like, Tap it on his shoulder. That is... That is lightening up. That in is a horrifyingly subtle yeah. way. That is both heartwarming and horrifying simultaneously. What can I say? Still a drow. Drugs trying to work out whether that's good enough to, to uh, give you a uh, charge back. That's a legitimate thing. Like, <laughs> it is. A, I am at peace. Like a restful sleep. Anyway. All right. Yeah, I'll give you a recharge on your on your points for that one there. I like it. Like it's it's different. For Hannah to admit something like that. Yeah, that, that is a big step for Hannah. It is a it is a calm ocean. You know, it's like the the eye of the storm in what is a sea of murder. Mm -hmm. And this is a little spot there for me, where there is no murder. It's very exciting. <laughs> Plus, to someone she knows, she still has to spend time with. And he sort of vaults himself off this branch and sort of lands on lands on the grass. He's like. Come along then, since you don't want to murder me now. I didn't say that, so I don't need to murder you. <laughs> it's a very important distinction. And I don't <laughs> I get it. I understand. You like me. That's fine. I will twitch. <laughs> I, it's, it's a brave moment for you to, to, to say that out loud, so that you actually enjoy someone's company. You may not have said it in as many words, but I understand what you're saying. <laughs> no, that's not what I said at all. I've never said those words. No, you haven't. You're right. You do realise that there are still a bunch of spiders out there looking for a snack. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. And That's he's pointing up the hill. I thought. Um, for the next little bit, you can travel with Graylin and pick up a couple of other potential forms yep. if you want to roll a survival and, and, uh, and basically track down... Did you, you've already got... Okay, what beasts... Do you think you guys have encountered over the last um, period of time? Because I've worked out that the the wild shaping there doesn't have the proviso of having have, have seen them being a druid. I just have to see them. You just have to have seen them in your lifetime. No purple worms, no Greeks. Not, uh, well, not be, a beast. It's interesting about that Greek? drow creature we saw on the boat. You know the boat, the boat stingray thing? The cloaker? Oh, the cloaker, that's the one. That's uh, an aberration. Right, that's, that's I mean, an aberration. Oh, okay, cool. Um, in that case, I'm just assuming like... um. 
there have been other giant spiders. Well, I think it'd be well for me, but the more the small sneaky stuff like you know your mouse. We've done a lot snakes. of urban stuff. Well, that's what that's what I'm thinking. Like Greeks and monstrosities. Don't know. Wow. So I'm thinking like. Mice, I'm not good rat, at knowing what animals are. Oh, Snakes, yeah. bugs, a lot of, like a lot of basic urban well, stuff, like the little, like the little little things. You'll have seen. Well, for me, like Cats, personally, it's going to be dogs, more around about. You'll have like birds. the standard spider as well. Yeah, but like it's more about getting horses. into spots unnoticed rather than getting into a spot with the full explore. So with the occasional like, oh, guess I become a spider now. Mm -hmm. Guess I go killing again. Like, there'll be times when you know. I'm trying, I'm trying to that. think if we had any random encounters just with just beasts at some point because we did a lot of stuff in cities, and then. Trying to think of the first time we went to Gnome Town, we actually saw like just random beasts out in the forest. Did run into giant spiders? That was a thing. Inquire about the giant spiders around this area. So I'm just assuming it's just going to be um, like your sort of wolves, bears, maybe a bear. I don't know what I've seen a bear. You can go bear hunting. Yeah, something like, like that. Probably for like thing. most part, like your mice, horses, rats. Yeah, well, we've definitely seen horses. Yep. Stuff like that. More, more, uh, yeah, more utility most, type most urban, urban stuff you'll have seen because you've been in the city yeah. for a while. Like, I, I won't even make you roll for that. That's stuff you've seen. Right, well, this is for so the rats, so I'm not going to roaches. I think roaches are a thing to be fair. Um, I got 18 for right. bear hunting. 18 for bear hunting. Oh my. That was a, that was a wizard of Oz reference. I know it doesn't really work without the lead up unless you oh, sort so of make it do the creatures and defense. Would have been funnier, I guess, with the lead up. I probably should have tried more. I mean, I can try better for next time. I just don't know if this is going to come up again. Well, I'll check. Okay. You're, um, <laughs> you're hunting, hunting around. Hunting uh, rabbits. And Granon's like, the bears at this time of the, the year, they're going to start hunkering down for hibernation. Though. We're heading into winter soon. Wasn't it the best time to... Well, oh, I yeah, I think that would be the best time. In the system, no. Um, when you get 18, after a little while, you sort of you managed to get hold of a set of tracks in um, where there's been one that's been hunting around, basically getting the last little bits of a uh, of grub down before sort of really burrowing it, uh, you know, digging into its den. And you come up to this, it's an old tree stump, and be beneath the stump, uh, beneath the stump, there's this whole dug out burrow. Um, around the around the outside, there's a whole pile of like. Um, leaf litter and everything that's been piled up as, um, and uh, there's some roughly laid out branches and stuff that sort of tried to cover a little bit like a like a like, like a lid on a cave entrance and there's and there's inside you can hear fairly easily just this rumbling and snoring you want to try and poke your head in sure you need to get a look at this thing to be able to get it unlocked this was it so sneak Stealth, sorry, that's uh, 32. Well, 16 plus 13 plus 3. Okay, um, because what you needed was something to supplement your rolls. Well, for stealth, I did. Oh, wait, no, <laughs> I get it. So, yeah, you sort of get out there and you like quietly like pick away a few of the branches, and just inside, you can sort of see this on like, the back of the neck. Um, you can sort of see the point there, there's the little points of the ears at the back, and just like this whole body is like. Rising and falling with the sound of this this rumbling, um, and you sort of see like this uh, the, the slight sort of grayed point of the point of the muzzle just uh, just ever so slightly, um, and these couple of massive clawed paws that are sort of like tossed over beneath as it sort of like rumbles and then raises back up. Um, and then just yeah, just the snoring away. And uh, what kind of bear is this? Is it a cave bear? Like a brown bear? Black bear. Polar bear? Polar bear, black bear. And Granon's like, I reckon you can try this one solo. Cool. And he sort of just takes a few steps backwards. Um, I'll get you to do the wisdom check on this one, guys. This is, this is training you to do something. This was not technically a spell you could do yet. Yeah. Natural 20, you. And a four on the, gri <laughs> on the guidance. Oh, the elbow! Oh. So a natural 24. <laughs> he just like explodes into a bear. <laughs> This shit's easy. And he's just literally, literally like, and just sort of like land heavily. He's like, oh. you're a bear and now. There's a bear in there. No, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're basically yeah. like sitting there, just like sniffing around. You go, and you just sort of smell like like 
berries off in the distance. You can just get this hint of like nearby. There's there's obviously some some beehive that this this other this this, um, this local bear has uh, has not managed to to you know pilfer of all its all its honey yet. It's just like off in the distance. You can get that tang of uh, of sweet honey. Like, hey, boo boo, like, where's that picnic basket? I'm just leaning heavily on that keen smell ability. <laughs> It's like it has, because it doesn't have much else in the list. <laughs> oh, well, otherwise, it's just biting and clawing things. Yeah, he's just like, it's just, you can feel like the saliva building up in your mouth. Maybe like, if you use that sort of heightened smell, though, wouldn't it? Or like super, not what I'm used to. Before it was a combination of like hearing and smelling and all that. I was probably like, it's hyper focused on one thing. Yeah. This is this is now all of that on one thing. But yeah, and uh, Graylin sort of like paces his way around around the side of you just like um sort of puts a hand up sort of uh, rubs the uh, the fur across the, the, the uh, across your sort of right flank and just like she got my foot oh <laughs> yeah oh. And, uh, he's like hey, hey easy with the claws there well done oh <laughs> 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 That is correct. Oh no! <laughs> 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 Ground's like, well, you, you can hang out in that form for a while, but eventually you, you're gonna want to uh, pop back out. I pop back out. Okay. I wasn't sure if you were just like. I thought we like, mm, nah. So I think you can hold it. It's like my druid level. Divide by two? Like, is it per hour? Like a drill level per hour type thing? Or? Mm, number of hours equal to half your druid level rounded down. So it starts Apparently at level two, so one. you can be one hour. Yeah. I'm only druid level one. Yeah, so it'd be half an hour currently. Well, druid level one, you can't well change. Rounded yeah, it's down. True. This is just, that's, right. yeah. that's why I figured oh, I'm not going to overstand. And yeah, you sort of like plod along a little bit, and then all of a sudden. Sort of like roll back into your drow, uh, into your drow. Form. I'll do it like a like, look. I'm showing off and do like a little bit of a bloop. Thunder you song. do like the the, 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 the the bear like somersaults and yeah, roar, like a roar, roar, roar. <laughs> a bit like um really wrong at the chocolate factory. It's gonna go. And then you'd craft the shower of petals. <laughs> Dead like <lad>. confetti. <laughs> Dead petals, yes. Nice. Yeah. And ground's like, all right. Right. Seems fine. Hmm. I'll let you have a wander around for a little bit. Meet me back at the uh, at the village when you're uh, ready for the last little bit. And then you can and I never came off. back. <laughs> then we can I... jump back over to idiot patrol. Also, <laughs> I believe you've also seen ears from when we took the canoe ride the first the time. We screeching came. eels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, that is correct. Doom patrol. What's the plan? Uh, are... I believe when last we saw our heroes, <coughs> uh, I was successfully persuading uh, Figure into thing. And I was about to try something. What were you about to try? Casting one of my most powerful spells. Oh dear. Okay. It's a whole level two. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I Please am do go on. To attempt to calm emotions. On who? Uh, it affects everyone. Uh, each humanoid in a 20-foot radius sphere, centered on a point you choose within range, must make a charisma saving throw. A creature can choose to fail the saving throw if it wishes. Um, and you want to know can... what my charisma saving throw is? I don't care about you. You can suppress any effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened. So if this is maybe his persuasion is an effect causing her to be charmed, this is to suppress strong emotions in a group of people, you pass your charisma saving throw. What Did you roll a natural 20? Did you roll a one? Again. Again. So I've now suppressed Sigrun's emotions. Uh, what did you roll for your saving throw? Well, firstly, I have advantage on rolls against being charmed. Yes, this is a charm effect. And near Sigrun, we get what, what, like a plus, plus two to our saving throws. Oh, that's not all that. So uh, that will make my saving throw a plus 11. Yes. Uh, 18. You pass. I, I figured. <laughs> you can choose to fail. I'm good. It's a choice. I'm good. Okay. So you're basically like trying to... Trying to suppress 
and you and, and I'm you're like, being charged. What the yeah. fuck? It's plus one I'll save. Uh, Pressing strong emotions. Okay, well then it was it was a win. Like still pretty good. Seventeen. I got a, is, I got a seven, nine charisma save. Seventeen is the DC. Oh damn. Well then I pass, right? Yeah, yeah. Just. Yeah. So I'm trying to okay. suppress her feelings of whatever he's trying to do. Make her feel charmed. She's sort of like, you know, which is actually perfect because I'm not appealing to her sense of emotions. I'm I'm going to put forward a rational, sensible argument. Good point. But you go on. <laughs> Look, Sigrid, forget forget a halfling over there with his with his singing man. That was my most powerful spell. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was great. It was great. I loved it. It was. Oof. The the oof. It's given. It's given me chills. Not really though, because. Uh, look, look, you're you're essentially an emissary of Odin, right? Right? Uh, yes. Yes. So you just borrowing this Eye of Mimir for carrying out your ordained duty wouldn't really be stealing, right? We're gonna bring it back. Oh, are we? Oh yeah, just after we're after we're done. After we after we've we've successfully. You know, after we've fulfilled your, 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 you know, duty on this plane, you know? Oh, yeah. We'll bring it back. Of course we'll bring it back. Do you want me to roll a deception on this? Well, is it roll me a deception if you're actually lying, or roll me persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, howdy am I lying. <laughs> or roll me persuasion if you're telling the truth. Well, it's the same for either. I'm a plus nine on both of those. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know. Could be either. It's definitely deception. Okay. Um, with guidance. Um, so, I mean, is that a, is that a one on both? I wonder what that feels like. <laughs> so, that was an 11 total? You rolled two ones. I rolled two ones. <laughs> you rolled a one on both. You rolled like two twenties like I do. Well, you rolled, I rolled a. I roll two ones in a row for Sigrun saves. Ooh. You should just yeah. have a racial trait to re-roll ones. So she knows I'm lying. Right. Clever man. I'm going to make sure this gets returned. Okay. No, no. Like, yeah, well, that's what I meant. You know? Like, Because <laughs> we need to get this job done. I, 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 I definitely agree. But that's, this, that's the... what this whole quest... That's... You know how I said, like, quest. Quest time. That's what the quest is. But this needs to come back. Mm. And I'm going to make sure this comes back. Mm. Well, mm. if we're just borrowing it, can't we ask Lawmaster to borrow it? Sigrun? I mean, operations between the temples? I don't know. Making some noises. <laughs> Sounds very unfortunate. <laughs> um, but if we're simply borrowing it, can we not just ask of Lawmaster Hesia? As oh, a joint operation between the churches I, of... I don't think that... Uh, well, we cannot steal from Black Lawmaster Holmes, Hesia. Uh, really laid down the best of uh, impressions. But what? then if it came from you instead of Mr. Larkham, if you're guaranteeing its return... Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you're requisitioning it for because official we, Odin business. Because we cannot steal from the Temple of Odin. I wouldn't dream of it. Usually my dreams are much more complicated than this. Hey, man. Hi. More oily. Mm. How desperately do you need this to? Well, I can't. I can't. I, I can't. I can't scry without it. Look, I just. I think scrying. I, I need. I, okay. Look. Look. Can't scry without it. Right. Cards on the table. And look, like, look. I'm and just this, saying. And this scrying thing is going to help you track down what remains of Craven. Yes, that is that is that is a true thing. Okay, as you start like walking up to the um to the the head and sort of like looking it over and like yeah, she sort of just winds up and just puts her fist straight through the glass, grabs the grabs the head sort of by by the face, pulls uh pulls it out of the glass uh glass casing and sort of like just like. Holding the the, 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 the the mummified sort of skull in on one side, and like with three three fingers, like 
digs it into the into the skull, pulls this like sapphire gem out, and just like places the head back in the glass. Leo's <laughs> like, Le- like leaning over Poppet, like arms over his shoulder. I can't believe she did it. Poppet's just <laughs> in shock, and I'm in, in shock, shock. And I'm not even in the same continent. And you just hear this. She's like lobs this um sa- well not lobs like hands this sapphire reverentially out. She's like she like holds it out. Maybe you hold on to that just until we get out of this temple thing. Do your scrying. What like right now? I've got to put this back. Oh. Yeah. Right. You know what you're doing, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, definitely. I can. I can do this. Roll me perception. <laughs> I can reroll natural ones. Ah! I can't reroll the second natural one. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Looks like I'm not the only one who's holding <laughs> eyeball right now. <laughs> uh. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess That's I'm. What I get for talking about rerolling natural ones. Yeah. You talking some shit before <laughs> now who's now who's rolling jokes one. on you <laughs> uh all right um casting time 10 minutes grabs the grabs the eye the the sapphire mm-hmm. sort of like starts like swirling a hand around it uh yeah yeah um do you, do you know how scrying works let's see I guess I'll just try and scry on minutes? Craven. And see how that goes. Okay. Roll me another perception. Oh, bother. Uh, that is 14. You hear the sound of... What's his name? Snore? Snore. You hear He him. was on my shoulders. He snuck off again. This is when I rolled two double ones. He sort of snuck, uh, snuck off a little bit again. And you just hear him sort of like doing that low mewing and like hissing. And that's drawn your attention to the yes. sound. It sounds like, like cracking stone. Uh, I go to investigate whatever this cracking stone is. Um, a pair of the um, of these sort of two statues are like, they are. Oh. Like there's two like twenty foot tall like they look like marble carvings of Valkyries. Yes. Um, their sort of stone form is like cracking. Like there's there's shards of uh. Of stonework falling away from the ground, uh, falling away to the ground, and you can see like these little bursts of like light begin to come yes. through the the various cracks. I call out to Sigrun to come and have a look at this. And Sigrun's sort of holding this thing out, and what? Yeah, like you've already taken the sapphire from it. Sure. Yeah. Um, Sigrun's like, two. Uh, Are long, there meant to long? be Valkyries coming out of the walls? Give me a second, Poppet. Oh, like I'm gonna be like ten minutes on this. Can Get ten, comfy. Can whatever you're talking about wait ten minutes, Poppet? No. <sighs> what? Uh, those giant Valkyries are coming out of the wall to kill us. Ooh, great Mimir. Reveal your secrets unto us. <laughs> I'm casting a spell here. <laughs> Are you actually casting the spell, or are you flubbing the way through this? Um, well, well it, it does take ten minutes. To I cast. know it does take ten minutes, but are you actually starting the casting time? Yeah. Okay, cool. I I don't think I can deal with two of them. And she's like, so or that to be cool. She's like, vandalize and and the like, temple. Can it be? Can it be quicker than ten minutes? We have trouble. <sighs> well, if you want a substandard, I think I'm scrying. in trouble. <laughs> Just, uh, just, uh, tell you, tell your friends, uh, just... I don't think it's gonna work like that. Alright. Is it vandalism if they're no longer part of the building? I think it just becomes murder. Okay. Does someone say Moira? Hannah just appears. <laughs> are the, where are the... The worst summoner. Where are the Valkyries coming out of the wall? They're like two statues that are within the, within the... Are they next the, to each other? Close-ish. So like each each two two sides of the sort of the hall, it's almost like sort of like guardian figures. I've already used my most powerful spell. All right, I got this. Uh, put the sapphire in my pocket. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Leland casts mage door. It fucks up himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leland casts mage hand. Right. 
and grabs the end of uh, Glidnia. <laughs> okay. And then ties it around the feet of the two Valkyrie statues. Okay. Yep. I like it. That's a correct international insert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, give me athletics for tying this one off. Sure not like Arcana or something? Actually, no, you're using it's your magic. mage hand. Yeah. You're using your mage hand. Yeah. Do that. 20. All right. You won't have the distance to get two of them. You'll definitely be able to get one of them. Because it's still, yeah, it's, still, it's a long lead, but it's not long enough to tie it around two things that are each side of like a 40 foot wide hallway. That nerd said that this, like, constrained like Fenris or something. It'll be cool. Do one of them. Okay. Yeah, one of them, one of them. Like, <laughs> yep. You have 80 80, one of them. <laughs> Yeah, so you've you've tied the shoelaces together of a uh, Valkyrie guardian thing. May I please run up to the other one? Sure. I'm going to cast Levitate on it. Okay. So it just floats in the air and can't move towards us. Yeah, save on that if you're doing it against something that's... Um, there definitely constitution is. saving throw. How's the, how's the statue going to have a good constitution? It's unwilling, it's a constitution saving throw. Oh no, it's only if it weighs up to 500 pounds. Wait, I'm assuming this is more than 500 pounds. Probably gonna be more than five hundred pounds. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> I didn't read my spell. Okay. Apparently, reading the thing explains the thing. And at this point here, I'll have you guys roll in for initiative. Wheel oh, like, good. I took care of one of them. What do you want? All right. Uh, I got yeah. a nine for initiative. Oh yes, that old chestnut. I got a twenty-five for initiative. I didn't want to break stuff, Ryan. You did. I thought I tried to stop. I didn't think Sigrun would just fucking break shit. She's so irresponsible. We're creating a diplomatic incident. And you're not even here for it, Goida. Oh, no. Usually you're the one responsible for diplomatic incidents. There'll be time for others. Yeah. All right. Pop it. Hi. These are two quite large statues. Um, there's more and more of the stonework, like the marble workers are sort of crashing down around them. More of these sort of... The light form beneath them is becoming more visible. Oh, hey, Ryan. Hey, yeah. Just because it makes a lot of difference. Uh, did I actually st have time to start casting scrying before? or You can have. Because that's, that's, that's all my spell slots. Oh. <laughs> that's what I was asking. You yeah, no, that. fair, fair, fair. <laughs> did ask that thing. <laughs> cool. Oh, well, does a spell slot get used if you don't finish casting it? It's a 10-minute cast. Obviously, I didn't have the 10 minutes. What's what? Is there something like a, like a counter spell type thing? I don't know. Or is it... This is getting I'm going to say probably yes. Okay. So... Out of spell slots, guys. Well, that's going to be a bad time for you. Pop it. I'm going to... Oh, hang on. Roderick? Do I have time to click my stopwatch? Sure. This is, this is the time to do it. I click my stopwatch. And my surprise round, I... Take an action to recharge my spell slots from Roderick. <laughs> You're like, dum, dum, dum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so, do I have a bonus action then as well? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll cast hex on the non-tied up one. Gotcha. So I've used one of those spell slots. That was my surprise round. <laughs> surprise. Oh, no bother. Play. I was going to dispel it. Not this book. <laughs> I, I'll find some because <laughs> it probably wouldn't have worked anyway. All right. Pop it. Um, well, I was going to try dispelling it, but now it's being hexed. Even though I don't know that it's been hexed. Eh, it's my turn. Ah, um, no, apparently when you hold an action, even though you name a trigger, you can just chime in if you decide to chime in at some point. You name the trigger, but that trigger needs to be named. Oh, does it? Because um, that's not what they were doing in Trigger Lock. Okay. Bother. It's Calvin Ball. Damn it. Um, basically, your, your trigger can be pretty loose. It's like, as soon as someone comes into range, I do this. Yeah, but I'm just trying to stall deciding what they actually do. <laughs> because... Um, that's a Trevor move. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> um... I am going to... These things are big, and they're magical, and they're made of stone, and I didn't do anything bad, so this is annoying. So I'm just actually going to back up and turn myself invisible. Okay. 
You deal with it. Cigarette. <laughs> Just gonna watch you deal with this. Why? Um. Okay. <laughs> I told you not to. I didn't steal anything. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> You were here. You encouraged it. I totally she, did. <laughs> she sort of like um, pulls her shield, like slams it into the ground, like pinning that point into the into the, into the stone. Like, she's done to that. be fair, the fool she's done that move before. Telling us is pretty good. And then sort of yeah. like with her right hand, she's like pulls it up from the ground like this. And the one that does, is not tied to the ground, you see these um, sort of light form vines and everything start to sort of like creep up out of the out of the uh, the ground around uh, around the creature. Ryan's magic one struck again, <laughs> which is good because that was the save on their things. So, oh, no! Oh, oh, thank God. These vines are like you know, it's got a similar sort of white, white light glow as this creature's being exposed under the under the uh, under the stone. But there's this, these vines sort of creep up around the legs and up into the lower lower torso and just like bind it to the ground. There you go. It's your turn. Is there another way out of this room? Uh, there's a there's several um several windows along 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 the along the side, uh, sort of higher up because this whole section is probably one of the 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 higher ceiling sections of the of the of the church. Uh, otherwise, the two main doors you came in through to before, which would involve sort of running past these things. So there are windows. Yeah. Okay. We should probably run away, right, Sigrun? I don't believe we can take these things on. Okay. Well, they're both tied down right now. Yeah. Puppet's already gotten the fuck out of here. No, What's... I haven't. <laughs> where did that? What? What? Where, where is if only, we if both only, did the same thing. If only Puppet were here, I could cast fly on all three of us and we could fly away. Sigrun, didn't you say we'd be returning that crystal eyeball? There's no time for that. Let's get out of here. Well, I believe we're going to die here. If I do like the, the image of we've tied both of the, the, the animated statues up and just like fucking legging it. And Sigrun's like, we need to get this job done quickly and get this back so I can try and fix this. Bother. Sure. How do you propose we get out? Uh, do you know where those windows come out? She sort of looks up. Yeah. All right. Uh, fuck it. I'm just going to cast Fly on... I don't. I can't cast something on Poppet right now. I'm assuming Poppet's gone. Where are you, Poppet? Come out. Get your fucking cat and let's go. Order, or? Uh, I, this is a really long Leland turn. <laughs> well, no, okay. Well, this is still this is still initiative order, so I can't. Well, okay. Yes, you can't. I can't cast fly on someone I can't see. So right That's now fine. we're in a stalemate of uh, you're saying that you're there, but I can't see you. I can also make myself fly. Okay. Well. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fuck it, I cast Fly on me and Sigrun, and I say, let's get the fuck out of here. She's like, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's my waste of the spell slot on that hex, but up, up, and away. All right. The first of the statues is the one that's got a hex on it, and it's tied down. It's going to try and break free. Oh, it has disadvantage on strength checks. (laughs) That's a hex thing. That's a hex thing. Uh, the other one... Uh, you, you hear you hear the sound of like these snapping vines, and uh, and the um the stonework of the um of the of the wings finally all breaks free, and you see these two large like white feathered light wings. Oh, this, they fly as well, and just starts like flying after you. I'm pretty sure it can't fit through the windows though. But... That's true. Um, so I will <laughs> drop invisibility. Yeah. Uh-huh. And cast fly on myself. Really, you could do either of those in it. In, in, in. Those in either order, and then it's also the same. <laughs> Cast a spell, invisibility goes away. Well, yeah, but it's <laughs> con- they're both concentration. It's just okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, you are now able to fly. You can fly. I will fly. Um. Sure. Walking speed. Is that, or is it, no, that fly a, gives you a, a speed. specific speed of what? Thirty. Sixty. Sixty, 60. feet. Zoom, zoom. Flying speed of sixty feet. Oh, these guys fly so fast. Ooh. <laughs> is it faster than sixty feet? Oh, it's not slower. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, so we have to get through the window. Yep. You gotta fucking 
challenges and the chocolate factory. There's a two re- two reference to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Go to go, go to Candy Mountain, Charlie. That's that's a throwback. <laughs> Um, oh, Stop I can it. only do bonus action attacks when I make a normal attack, That's when I right. use the attack action. That's annoying. So we've already flown up to the windows, right? That was what I... You planned. have. Cool. Sigrun? Oh, Sigrun. Oh, yeah, it's so, so yeah, no, no, cool. that, that, that turn initiative thing. Cool, yeah, that thing. Love that thing. Hey, you're flying, Sigrun. <laughs> um, <laughs> looking out the window, Yeah. can I see anywhere that will, within 60 feet that would be in dim light? Potentially. Because yeah. I'd like to shadow like, step there. It's essentially like the shadow side of some of like the spires of the of, yeah. the, of the church. I'll just shadow step there. So you fly out there and like, Poof. see ya. Well, that's a vision. <laughs> Didn't you even did, break you, a window. You couldn't see him. Then you could see him, and he flies, and then you couldn't see him again. Hey. And the window's hey. still intact. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just fly. I'd like to fly just and hover outside the window and wave at them. Uh, Sigrun. Move back a little bit. She's gonna take the road less subtle. Not flying with me? Oh, she's flying. Okay. She's not going to leave the window intact. No. She's basically like, shield up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's, yeah. She's Kool Aid Manning through that window. If, if I'm going to come back, they're going to say, we've got wanted criminals. I go, okay, who are they? And it's going to be like, pictures of you three. You'll be there as well because you disappeared. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, but the boss knew where I went. <laughs> Did he? You yeah, Sigrun is basically like Kool Aid Manning through this fucking stained glass window. There's like the shower, the shower of coloured glass coming down, and uh, yeah, Leland, I fly out the window, <laughs> and just like bolting. Yeah, the like, formation. Fly dash, the whole whole. Yeah, as far as far as I can fly, uh, like I don't know, in a different direction than what Sigrun goes. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> <laughs> And the other, the I don't other. know where you went, so I can't exactly follow. Well, I came up outside the window and waved at you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Are we renegades now? No, we're still police. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is going to happen. Flies out the window. You've probably got the best vantage point for this, because you're sort of like in a shadow on a spire. You see like... Sigrun like shatter through the window that you you came through and just basically like this shower of glass going going outside. She's this light out, like, glowing Valkyrie shield shield, shield, first. shield first coming through, oh, and then you see Leland sort amazing. of like kind of the opposite of bravado <laughs> level on this one. Here is like and like scampers like a uh, like a rat that's been spotted in the side of the pantry. Um, Spider cloak flapping, um, and then behind the two of them, it's. It's kind of Jurassic Park esque. It's all of a sudden like there's this burst of brickwork in the remainder of the window frame as this like glowing angelic form of like you know, like full light mm-hmm. version of a Valkyrie. It's like burst through the side of the uh, wow. through, through the side of the stonework. It's just like a shower of like of bricks and dust just bursting out. Um, cool. More than like James Bond, like the old Pierce Brosnan one when he comes through the building with the tank. <laughs> <laughs> like they're not slowed down at all, it's just bricks flying in directions. <laughs> and you sort of sort of see like Sigrun as well as you know, look as Lucas just like looking back and just like shock as this long at what she did makes come flying at her. I'm sure she'll be fine. Did you kill Sigrun? I didn't kill Sigrun. Ryan's killing Sigrun. <laughs> I'm not rolling any dice right now. You can tell who's the one killing somebody because they're the one that are rolling a lot of damage dice. I tried to stop this. Ryan didn't have to have some kind of crazy <laughs> Need to stone kill Sigrun. statue security system set up. He could have just been fucking cool for five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking read and a half. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this uh, massive Valkyrie thing with a little massive mace just basically like takes it like a backhand swipe at Sigrun and then then follows follows back through with a with a forehand swipe and she's you see her like physically pummeled like twenty foot off her flight course. You want to just put the timer on for how long Sigrun has left to live? Um, yeah. Pop it. Um, so Sigrun's just been hit. Is she still flying, or is she? She's flying. She's got hit good, real good. Um, I just realised Hex would have gone away when I cast fly. 
for they're both concentration, concentration spells. My bad. It didn't affect anything on that other. No, one. it did. The game is ruined. Ruined Start forever. Again. We'll just like we'll just do a mulligan on today's session. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the start, where I hadn't introduced myself to the guy and, like, everything was fine. Like any one of those time travel things where you go back and make the cha- that one change at the beginning. Doesn't someone have a deck of many things to make pull up the wish and say, I wish this never happened? I well, mean, we actually do, don't Oh my god, we do. We've had it for a very long time. We 100% do have that, and I think right now James is looking at his rules for his deck of many things. No, I was just thinking of Cure Wounds. For oh, you help. Why wouldn't I help Sigrun? That's sweet. Sigrun's okay. I'll I'll fly up to her and She's hit her and try and, and cure wounds. Of course I'll Sorry. help. I'll fly up to her and touch her and try to cure wounds on her. If oh, she's so gonna get out there too. If okay. she's looking yeah, do it. if she's looking like injured. Oh yeah, she's injured. Yeah. She can heal herself. <laughs> can Corrin try to heal himself? So this is interesting. The third level cure wounds from the mandolin. <laughs> yeah. So three D eight plus three. Which is, that's a three. <laughs> that's a four. That's seven. Five. That's a six. That's Five. 13 plus three is 16 hit points. She'll heal up. And as a bonus action, I spend a key to take a patient defense. Okay. And if I have any more movement, I'll just keep trying to fly. <laughs> just keep flying. We need to get lower so we can lose them in the streets. How's it going, Ryan? The, the I, I tell Sigrun we need to get lower so we can lose them in the streets. I don't know she's not that we can fly away spell. from this. Am I just dead here? Again. You can't put yourself in a good spot. I'm not gonna lie. Someone steal the ring. Whose turn is it? It's Sigrun's turn. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I do have plus one on saving throws while she's right. She winds up with her sword. Takes a swipe at this thing. Just fly away, we can lose it. Hmm? Just fly away, we can lose this. That's not the way Sigrun do it. Mm. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Pick the perfect team for your heist. Yeah. <laughs> In the end. The two lawful good characters. Okay. Still a precious, precious, yeah. precious Felicity's artifact. I, I think Sigrun was a good choice. Yeah, well, you learn by it. doing, don't you? <laughs> Any curses yeah. that were on that head are on her now, anyway. She is all going to add Divine Smite. Third level. Ooh. Smush. She's a renegade paladin. Divine Smush. What is that class called, though? It's one of the, one of the. It's a, there's a broken vow. Yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking of. That's fucked up though. Like all your all your ability, you get, you get powers to raise zombies and shit, and all your stuff turns into necrotic damage instead of radiant damage. It's, it's not. It just you get you you become a paladin necromancer rather than, like a just a shitty paladin. I don't know. I looked into it when I was playing a paladin before. Very brief, and I thought it was kind of cool because it had like a three point five path one had like the mm. the fallen equivalent. I mean, like, I thought it was like a dark knight path. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. But it was like a. The, the, the thing is, the paladins in in five e is like different different uh, vows end up being like that anyway. It could be anyone. You don't need to be a religious mm. paladin anymore, which is cool. Yeah. What's going on, Ryan? Uh, she took a swipe of one and did a reasonable amount of damage. Yeah, so you between fire and physical damage and the uh, and the divine smites, you did thirty six points. Woo, that's not bad. Yeah, woo. And this thing here sort of like gets like a, a cut across the shoulder. Doesn't seem that greatly affected by it. And then she sort of like winds up for the second swing and just like misses wildly. And she just like turns to Pop and is like, "We need to run." Yes. Fly. Didn't, yes. Didn't you say that? Lying. Get down and lose them in the streets. Uh, so, okay. I would have gone straight out the window for, like it was a, a, whatever, a dash last turn. So that was 120 feet. I would have gone straight, a straight, like, straight line away from the church, sort of on a trajectory downwards is what I was mm-hmm. thinking. Uh, now I'm trying to, like, get to street level. Uh, I want to, like, land, like, zoom down, see if I can get into an alleyway. Disguise myself as someone else, and then try and like the like, and then I like then take what would be a hide action. Okay. Yep. That that's what I'm thinking of. Like, yep. get to the street, disguise self, as hide. random dude, as hide. random dude. Okay. Is that is that a concentration? No. Okay. 
And otherwise, Suku's like, ah, oh dear. No. <laughs> All right, roll your hide. Uh, what is that? Is that a stealth check? Yes. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Are you good? Can we roll that? Yeah. All right. Fine. I'm not in combat anymore. <laughs> um, see you later, guys. This thing is going to wind up on Sigrun because it's a attack fairy. Sigrun's going to die. Sigrun's not going to die. Gonna 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 die. die. Have very limited healing. She wanted to go back to Valhalla. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was cold, Leland. Damn, Leland. Damn. Damn. I'm afraid we're going to have to go back and murder that guy that we introduced ourselves to. There were a few. Guess like oh, we may have to go back a couple of times. <laughs> um, you see, Sigrid basically just get clobbered like twice mm -hmm. straight down with his with his mace, and she's like 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 spits a couple of teeth out, like one eye is like bloodied and and um and 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 swollen over. Um, her you know the section of her helmet is just like crushed and peeled away like it's it, it, it looks bad pop it it's your turn um I'd like to disengage <laughs> sorry disengage yep and yell at Sigrun that we need to get away and start trying to get away and pray that she follows me alright disengage and heading heading down 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 alright um, disengage, that's an action or a bonus action? That is an action. Yeah. Action. Why is this not doing that to disengage? I you, think. Can you can spend a key point to do it as a bonus. Yeah, I was just going to take patient huh. defense Everyone for my DNC. Huh? Everyone can do it as an action. Yeah. Like, yeah. Rose can do it as, yeah. as a bonus, bonus action. Bonus action. I think he can do it with it. I will do it as a standard action because I want to use my key to take the um, patient defense again. Just in case it tries to whack me because I'm squishy. Very squishy. But yes, yeah, just. Emphasizing to Sigrun we need to get down. Get down. Okay. Disengage from this. Disengage from this battle and get down. You're a bear. And a spider. Spider bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Stop smiling. Is Sigrun gonna be okay, Ryan? You killed Sigrun. Hey, 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 hey! Have have I rolled any attacks this session? The answer is no. This is the trolley question, but for D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sigrun, you've, you've, what, disengaged and gone down to the down ground. You've yeah. disappeared into the crowd. And I've repeatedly emphasized to Sigrun to disengage and Where's come down. Crowd? I have no idea. I assume it's still back in the church. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my fault. That one, not my fault. <laughs> Okay. There are many things to scratch in there. Um, Sigrun sort of looks looks over where, in the direction you've gone, and sort of looks sort of in the direction she saw Leland disappear into. And she's sort of like, huh, and disengages, but then flies her own direction, her own direction away from you guys, Fair. and just like yelling at oh, this creature. Oh no. And. Sigrun. Yeah, she's basically like clanging her sword and shield together as like bang, bang, bang. She's like, follow me, take me on. Gonna help take her. On me. <laughs> she can't stealth without me. Oh, I even think with your helmet, it's not that good. Uh, so am I in like a street that I sort of know or am vaguely familiar with? Be vaguely familiar with this one. All right. What? Are, here's here's what I'm picturing, and I don't like like the specifics of it. Uh, Leland wants to find, like, an alleyway sort of thing, uh, and sort of make sure there's no one around, and then find, like, a hiding spot, like, what I'm, well, th this is what I'm sort of picturing, finding, like, a drain pipe or something in an alleyway mm -hmm. that he can sort of hide the, hi I want to hide the, the eyeball. Yep. In this in this random ass alleyway, yep. In such a way that I have to mage hand to put it into the hiding spot, okay. and you wouldn't like be able to get it out just, any... just by like accidentally seeing it. Yeah, it's not like so like not just like oh you move this thing and it's like I'm thinking like like up up a drain pipe and lodge it in there or something like like or like up a chimney or something. Roll me an arcana. 
gonna or be. Or sleight of hand, whichever one's gonna be. They're both the same. Okay. I'd roll the one. So okay. I'll go and drop it. You sort of like you're you you're sort of feeling away with the um with the the magical magical extension of your of your hand, and you sort of you place this thing into a um into this little alcove. You can sort of feel. Yeah. Sort of release the stone, and you just hear this tink tink tink, and just like dead panic. <laughs> You might want the luck face. <laughs> I've rolled a lot of ones you tonight. You have. Well, at least it's hidden. This Valkyrie takes the bait. It's okay. It's I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't need to look at that. It'll be fun. Um, what you can see, because I think Leland is a little distracted by his... I'm doing something. Yeah, he's distracted. What you see is his basically this, yeah. this flying creature basically go up and just like... What at uh, Sigrun at one time, then backhand her again. On the second one, you see this, this like mist of blood that spray out, and just her body just like disappear over the far side of like the the rooftops of the. I'm going the to church. go to try to find where she's disappeared. F in chat. Try to find where she's. You can sort of you because you're on the sort of the, the actual like the Odin Church mm-hmm. is a pretty. Big complex. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it is the, the yeah. biggest church of the uh, of of the region, um, and this attack is basically like vaulted it over sort of the higher rooftops mm-hmm. of the church over to the far side. Mm-hmm. So she would have landed somewhere. If it's she's within the bounds of the church, she'd be in the, on the far side of it, possibly even on the far si- other other side of the walls in the actual mm-hmm. city. So I'm going to try to go. You're going to try make and my way get that way there. and get to the. Other side, outside the walls, on the side of the city, she went. Okay. Uh, what is your turn if you want? If that's what you want to be doing. Yes, and I also want to land. Okay. And I want to cast pass without trace. Okay. So yeah, give me a stealth roll to get around there, so you don't get spotted by this. Mm, this thing, because they're still sort of flying there, sort of like trying to pan. Check pan off around. my tool. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, that is a 40. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pass that a trace, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a 40, so, Ryan. Not a you, know, you know how sometimes, like, when people pass, there's a trace? Yeah, that wasn't what happened this time. <laughs> this was without a trace. Uh, so, yeah, and so you're sort of sneaking through the crowd so so spectacularly. No one even, no one even passes you a it gives you a passing glance. It's like going around the edge of the um the wall. I think at this point she might drop you out of initiative. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, you because you you're two about out of sight. Sigrun is, um, yeah, the other side of the building. Um, I mean, I was gonna like I had some stuff planned out for the next rounds of initiative, but whatever. At this point now, unless unless they spot you, and then I'll drop you back into yeah. initiative. Um, yeah. So you're sneaking around. Trying you get part, the, the, part of the way around. And you just just follow the trail of blood splattered rainfall. You hear the sounds of like a crowd gathering. That sounds right. Um, some of them, are, you can hear some of them is like point, yeah, you know, like pointing out the the, the flying Valkyrie. angelic creature in the yes. sky, and other ones like calling for help for you know this poor Secret. thing in the street. Meanwhile, Zealand. He's going to use Ghostly Gaze yep. to have his X-ray vision. Yep. And then see what happens. Okay. To the thing. Well, the idea, Ghostly Gaze and then Mage Hand again to fix what he just fucked up. Okay, okay. So, Ghostly Gaze, you look through and you can see like the, um, this sort of drainage pipe in the little alcove you've got. You can see where you sort of like fumbled and it's basically like bounced down this drain pipe and, hit and landed basically into the sewage water of... The, the like the main series line you can you can sort of see, you catch a glimpse of this thing as like bouncing along the stonework of the base of the um of the of the series line. So yeah, but what I'm picturing is like as soon as he bumbled it, ghostly gaze to see what's happening. Yep. And then, I mean, this time you can give me the the mage hand check with advantage. Well, the mage hand is like one minute anyway. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to get it back. Oh much. yeah. But I figured being able to see what's going I just, on. I now. just want to see what happens if you roll a one again. That's an eight. That's a nineteen. Okay. That's a four. Okay, nineteen. So yeah, well, you managed to like you sort of 
watching this thing like bounce. Ah. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Like like reaching out aggressively with the uh, with this with this mage hand, um, like scooping through the muck and filth with this arcane force, picking up this stone and like carefully like gripping it as tightly as you can with magic, um, and dropping it in this little alcove that you've got, and you hear it sort of like clink, and just sort of sitting in place this time, and you just sort of like pull the hand away slightly the top of the sapphire and making sure it's good so like like look where it's hidden now it's fairly secure it's not it gonna... seems to be unless, okay. unless there was something okay. bizarre happened i don't think it should be okay. you don't think it should get knocked loose okay and i'm happy to just walk just walk just walk away the, right. the take stash somewhere randomly pop it what's your uh what's your plan with the crowds uh, to push through. Okay. Um, I'm small. I can move through creatures larger you than can, me. You can actually, yeah. I think halfling you're, nimbleness. You're halfling nimbleness. Yes. You sort of like scurry, scurry through, and you see you come up to basically like this circle around. Well, yeah, the broken form of Sigrid. She's bloodied. Is she uh, alive? Sorry. Is she alive? Has That's she failed level. three death saving throws yet? Yeah, she's got good running on. Player levels. Let's see. Don't roll three times. It's been a while. It's been yeah. I know. I know. Some time. <laughs> she also hit the ground. I know. From height. I know. Which is an auto fail. Uh, is she dead? You get close enough, and you just sort of see this little cough of blood oh, out of the out of the corner of her mouth, like she is on. I'd like to push through and cast cure wounds. Using my second level spell slot. Yep. Because I've already used my damn mandolin. Damdolin? My damdolin. Stupid damdolin. Uh, so it's 1d8. So this is 2d8 plus 3. Which is, that's a 6. That's a 4. 10, 13 points. She'll heal up. 14. 13. 14. And then can I just force feed her healing potion after healing potion? You can, uh, what was your cure wound? That was the spell, second spell slot. Action or fight? That was an action. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But we are outside initiative. You are outside initiative. You can, you can sing her another off. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had an idea for a thing to do now. So. Yeah, we're talking about you, not to you. Fair enough. Gosh. I'm trying to have a moment here with you, Ryan. Uh, do you want to... <laughs> is, she, is she awake? Is she... she is conscious, but she is like... Very badly. Very, very badly hurt. We did it. Now you're wanted criminals, but no one's dead. It would have been easier to get away with if she didn't survive, just so you know. <laughs> um, Don't give like a I need thing to... you can press that replaces Mega Poppet straight away. It's like, oh, oh. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> stuff. Get her out of here somehow, but she's probably still too weak to move. All right. While you guys are doing your respective things, you've managed yes. to lodge the, the sapphire in its spot. You've healed, found Sigrun. You, you found Sigrun and healed her up. As, as and as I as found as myself. And you have found and yourself in many forms. You two hear your um, Heimdall's badges. Yes. Call the unit to respond. Basically <laughs> that. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's, it is a, an APB. It's an all, all points bulletin, but it's a little bit fragmented. It's just coming through as I was like, you know, all officers... And then, like, cuts out for a second. It's like, break two members, and then cuts out again. Negative, I'm fine. Uh, we're all fine up here. Um, how are you? And then sort of cuts back out again. That's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Leland. And you can, you recognize, you recognize <laughs> the voice that it is, it is Captain Brocco. Oh, Leland. Leland flies straight for the temple of Heimdall. Uh-huh. Uh, lands there. Right. Hands up. Just being like, Sigrun went crazy! Uh, you just blurted this at the first person yes. you see? And, she uh, grabbed us on a horse and took us to the temple of Odin and then started wrecking up the place! Officer Larkholm, we could deal with that later. First of all, there's been a prison break. <laughs> I mean, never mind. 
And I think on that fun note, <laughs> we'll call this one a night. You're welcome. <laughs> Even when I'm not there, I'm just there. Gentle helping hand. Whoa, I'm sure glad we got out of that one. Well, how will we start next week? Find out when we're back on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, or YouTube, or follow us, oh no, at isolatedcitygaming at gmail.com.